welcome to another episode here on Your Digital Makeover. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in today's episode, we're going to be talking about subtasks right here in Tick Tick. And it's all coming up next. So in today's episode, we're going to be going over subtasks here in Tick Tick. And it's going to be another short episode for you all, but I just want to give you all a brief overview of subtasks and um, just show you how you can uh, utilize those for your productivity. So as you see here, we have Tick Tick opened up here. This is the web version, by the way, of Tick Tick. And I have the calendar view opened up. Okay, so let's go over here to the inbox and let's go ahead and create a task. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to do Maybe I wanted to do like a morning routine, right? And we create this task, but under that task, I want to have subtasks. And you know, this could work for anything, morning routine or whatever it is that you have as a main task that you want to have subtasks as well. So if I want to create a subtask, all I have to do is right click on that task that I just created and create a subtask. And when I do that, it creates it indented in as you see here and so then I could put down um, morning coffee exercise uh, walk cat play with cat have cat play with me or whatever it is right and so now I've created myself subtasks okay so if you see, I can minimize it by clicking on that little arrow right there. So I can either show it all or not at all. And when I click these, they disappear as I'm done with them, right? And then I can click the main task. Pretty easy, right? And so what's the difference between that and checklists? Well, I, I think I like the checklist a little bit better because if I remember correctly, when I created a um, subtask before with uh, a reoccurring task, the subtask uh, came with it all checked off. But let's check that out and see if that's true. So let's say I create another morning routine, right? And let's say I want that reoccurring. So I want that reoccurring daily, right? And I want to create a subtask under that. And let's say it's exercise run, walk, crawl. So now I've created myself some uh, subtasks underneath that uh, routine, right? So now I click this off because I'm done with all of these, right? Uh -huh. And then I click the main one off and it comes back the next day unchecked off. So you could do it that way or you could do um, the checklist like I normally do and you say well what's the checklist Jerry well the checklist is where you enter in an item like that and you create your own little um, to-do list underneath something right so that creates checklist or a subtask so you could use either which one you wanted to use for uh, creating your uh, tasks but like I say it, this is just really a quick episode on how you can utilize subtask under it and you say, well, why would you need to, you know, create something like that? Well, sometimes, you know, you have your main task that you want to do. Maybe it's like make a YouTube video, but you want to list subtasks underneath it in order to accomplish that main task. Because maybe it has many multiple parts to it, right? So let's say, for instance, I wrote down uh, record YouTube video, right? And maybe I got several different parts that I'm wanting to put under there. Maybe I want to put in, um, um, you know, come up with thumbnail. Um, you know, come up with, if I could type, right? With tags or something like that, right? And so maybe when I record my YouTube video, I also gonna you know I need to come up with some thumbnail, I need to come up with tags, and just helpful uh, ways for myself to kind of remember what I need to do, right? 
So, anyways, like I said, it's just a short episode. Just wanted to kind of show you all subtasks. I mean, I just used the checklist function. I guess I could have used the subtask function as well uh, for what I like to do. Um, but I did find uh, uh, the checklist uh, over here just worked a little bit better for me. But you could use subtasks as well for uh, reoccurring tasks as well. Uh, so, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this babbling episode. And if you did, uh, please click that like button right down below. And if you want to see more of these videos in the future, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And with that being said, I want to wish you all a wonderful week. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care.